Well, we've got all of our fungicide applied by land and by sky, and now it's time for the exciting annual fall farm equipment shuffle. I have always loved getting people out on a gravel road and letting them see the farm life firsthand. Whether it's in the field at our full-time farming jobs or here at home on our own little cattle ranch. So now I'll bring the camera along and you sit back and ask the questions. Let's explore this Midwestern farming and ranching lifestyle together. This is your channel. This is Dodge Brothers Farm and Ranch. So throughout the summer, whenever we've had some free time, we've been dragging various pieces of farm equipment out to the power washer and getting them cleaned up and shined up and ready for storage. It's important to get all that dirt and grime and crop residue off the equipment before you store it to keep things in good shape. Now it's important to wash your equipment, but it's also really important to grease it up before you put it into storage. And I'll show you why. When you're washing, you can't help but get a little water in all these little crevices, and you need to use the grease to force that water out so that things don't get rusty and seized up while they're in storage. Now we're just gonna get all the doors open on all the sheds, drag everything out of the way, and pull the fall equipment out of the back corners and get it where it's easily accessible and put the spring equipment back in the back of the shed. Oftentimes all these old tractors need a little encouragement to get going and sometimes this thing needs a little encouragement to get going as well. Every year it's the same question. Is the combine gonna start after sitting all this time? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Well, our friendly resident raccoon pooped all over the top of the combine. So I'm gonna pull up here and wash it off quick so that the guys at the dealership don't have to deal with it. Well, I greased everything I could inside the shed, but no engineering feat would be complete without designing a piece of equipment that you could only grease in a certain configuration. The wing pins can only be greased with the planter folded out. Everything else can be greased with the planter folded in. So I've got to fold it out one more time here so that I can get some grease into those wing pins. And then We'll put her away for the year.
All right, one last thing to get tucked away. Well, I'm just heading out on about an hour long trip with the combine this morning. I've got to take it down to our local John Deere dealer. I got a call from the service manager a couple of weeks ago that uh, John Deere has come out with a product improvement program for the S660, at least the uh, model year that we have. They had been having some trouble with the chaffer frames cracking, so they're gonna pull the chaffer out and put a little bit more robust frame in there, I guess is the fix and it's all on John Deere uh, in terms of picking up the bill for doing the work. So I appreciate that kind of a thing when somebody's gonna stand behind their product and make sure that we can get ahead of some of these issues that we know about before they happen. So that's what we're doing this morning. Never fails. I always meet the road grader when I've got a big piece of equipment. kind of a fun little trip. Thanks a lot for riding along with me and I'll see you next week.